Okay, so we're gonna measure passive range of motion of knee flexion. So your first thing you wanna do, you want the goniometer near, but you don't need to use it right away. You wanna find your landmarks. So we've got our greater trochanter of our femur. We've got our lateral femoral condyle and our head of our fibula. So that's our joint line at the knee. And then we've got our lateral malleolus uh, on the, the lateral side of the fibula at the ankle. So we're gonna line the fulcrum up on the joint line. And remember, you're gonna have your stationary arm on the proximal segment, and then you're gonna have your mobile arm on the distal segment. And he's a little bit tight, so he isn't in full extension, but I could passively lift it up and see that I could get him to full extension. So I wouldn't measure it because he's got full extension range of motion. What I wanna measure is knee flexion. So I would put him into whatever passive range he can get to. And remember, if they, can, if they have full range, you don't measure it. And then we find the very same landmarks. So we're on the joint line with the fulcrum. We've got to get down to eye level if you want accuracy. It's hard enough to be accurate with a goniometer. And then we're lining up with the long axis of the femur, roughly aiming for that greater trochanter. So you can take it off once you obtain your measurement and have a look. And this one's tricky because we're close to 90, right? So you have to think a little bit about where you started. So if you started with zero here, this is the scale you're looking at, and he had there 80 degrees of passive knee flexion range of motion.